Hi friends, missing you guys. So today I thought that we could do some of our ecri boards together on our video. And then after I'm gonna read you a read aloud story and I'm gonna have to send you off to do a job of writing about your read aloud, okay? So we're gonna start with our ecri boards. So I put a new picture on, so it's no longer the leprechaun, now it's the bunny. So you can do whatever you'd want for the bunny. Think for the leprechaun, we used to say hee hee. Maybe for the bunny you can say hop hop. You can do whatever you'd like, okay? So we're gonna start up at the corner. So when I say sound, you're gonna say the sound that you see. You ready, everybody? Sound, wuh, sound, shh, sound, hop, hop, <laughs> sound, ch, sound, ch, sound, f, sound, shh, sound, hop, hop, <laughs> sound, hop, hop, sound, wuh, sound, f, sound, shh. Good. All right. Now we're gonna do our CVC words. Okay, so remember, these are just our CVC words, so we're supposed to be able to know them in a snap. We shouldn't have to tap them out anymore. You ready? These are all the UD family at the top. Ready? If you know mud, say mud, you know sud. If you know sud, you know bud. Let's do it together, ready? Mud, sud, hop hop, bud. Ready? These are the ag families. If you know tag, you know bag, sag. Ready? Tag, bag, sag. Hop, hop. All right, these are going to be the ug family. Ready? Hop, hop, hug, mug, tug. Good job. And if you want, if you still want to practice more of these, you can always pause the video and you can go back and practice all by yourself, okay? All right, the other thing I want to do is I want to talk about that bossy E again, okay? So I'm going to show you an example. So if we didn't have E at the end of this, then we know that this is the word cut. It's just a regular CVC word. But when we add that bossy E at the end, he makes that U say its name. So this isn't cut anymore, it's cute. Say cute, cute. All right, let's do another one as an example. Um, another U one. If we had the word tub and we add that boss e to the end that e kicks at you and it's saying say your name ready not tub anymore it's tube tube all right so we're going to do an ecri board and it's all words with that bossy e at the end so this is new so i'm going to take our time doing this okay ready we'll start these are all the ones where o is saying its name so you're going to hear the long o ready word poke word tote hop hop word bone good so those were all the long oh so you heard oh yelling its name on this line it's all a long a a saying its name so this is the word gate everyone say gate gate ready word cake word tape hop hop <laughs> hop hop all right, these are the U saying its name. This is the word tube, tube, word, use, word, cute. This is a hard one right here. Let's look at that one together. Let me erase this. They put a trick one on our board for us this week. That's okay, we can do it. So this is the word U, so you is saying its name because E is at the end, even though you starts the word use, use. That's a trick one. That's a good one to know though, because you see that a lot in your books. All right, good job. The last ECRI board that I want to do is our sight words, okay? Some of them are review ones, and I think some of our new ones are on there too, okay? And then we'll do our read aloud. All right, ready? This is the word do, say do, do. Ready? Word that. Word hop, hop word from that's our new one what's this word everybody from good ready word like word he word she hop 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 word c word for word go oh i see our two new words on there i see go and i see from those are good words to know. Practice, practice, practice. 
All right, if you want, you can pause this and you can practice these two. This is a good one to practice. We'll have a new one later this week, maybe tomorrow. All right, are you ready for our read aloud? So we've read many of these books before, Pete the Cat books, but I don't think we've ever read this Pete the Cat book. And I found this one and I was like, ooh, my friends would love this book. So this one's called Pete the Cat, I Love My New White Shoes. And it's by Eric Litwin. There you go. All right. Pete the Cat was walking down the street in his brand new white shoes. Pete loved his white shoes so much. He sang this song. I love my white shoes. I love my white shoes. I love my white shoes. Oh, he's thinking of his white shoes. There's a thought bubble. Oh, no. Pete stopped in a large pile of strawberries. What color did it turn his shoes? Ooh, I want you to think. We can't talk out loud because it's on a video, right? But I want you to think, oh my goodness, if he stepped in strawberries, what color would his shoes turn? Hmm. <gasps> Red. Did Pete cry? Goodness, no. He kept walking along and singing his song. Everything is cool. I love my red shoes. I love my red shoes. I love my red shoes, he sang. Oh no, Pete stepped in a large pile of blueberries. What color did his turn his shoes? Well, what do you think? If he stepped in blueberries, what color do you think his shoes are gonna be? <gasps> Blue! Did Pete cry? Goodness, no. He kept walking along and singing his song. Awesome. I love my blue shoes. I love my blue shoes. I love my blue shoes. Oh no, Pete stepped in a large puddle of mud. What color did it turn his shoes? Uh-oh. <gasps> Brown. Did Pete cry? Goodness, no. He kept walking along and singing his song. Groovy. I remember Pete the Cat saying groovy in a lot of his books. It's one of his favorite words, I think. I love my brown shoes. I love my brown shoes. I love my brown shoes. Oh no, Pete stepped in a bucket of water and all the brown and all the blue and all the red were washed away. What color were his shoes again? White, but now they were wet. Did Pete cry? Goodness, no. He kept walking along and singing his song. Rock and roll. I love my wet shoes. I love my wet shoes. I love my wet shoes, he sang. Squeak, squack, squeak. You know when you walk on the floor with your wet shoes and they make that squeaky sound? There he is walking down the sidewalk with his wet shoes. The moral of Pete's story is, no matter what you step in, keep walking along and singing your song. Because it's all good. <laughs> all right, so we have read lots of Pete the Cat books. I think we read one about him going to the beach. We read one about him playing baseball. We've one, read one about him going to a picnic with his friends. So now your job today for your writing is I want you to write your own Pete the Cat book. So you're going to decide what's Pete the Cat going to do. He's always cool though. Remember he never gets mad. He's always very laid back and goes with the flow. So something, maybe something happens to him, but he doesn't react. Just like his shoes getting all dirty. He didn't react. He just chills out. He just does goes with the flow. So I want you to write a story of your own Pete the Cat book. And then you can send it to me if you would like, and I can't wait to read them. And then I'll be back tomorrow for another video. Okay, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Ava and I are off to go for a walk, and then I'm going to finish painting. I started painting our living room, so I need to finish painting it. All right, bye, guys.